Hello YouTube, so it's been a really busy week for me this week. I've got quite a bit of new fish, I feel like. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start to get them situated and get them in their permanent homes. So I'll be moving the Epistogramma Pandero to this 40 gallon tank right here. I love putting Epistogrammas with rainbows. They're an excellent match. They always do well together. And then we'll just touch up on all the other new fish I've gotten. Probably, I don't know, I feel like I've got quite a few fish in the last two weeks, even though I said I wasn't going to get any more new fish. But that's the way it works sometimes. So stay tuned. Alright, so here they are, getting all feisty in this, there goes the female, getting feisty in this 33 gallon long, I'm going to scoop them out of here and get them moved over to that uh, 40 gallon. Alright, so I'll let you guys watch me drop them in there, but I'm going to catch them off camera. Trick to catching fish, get the biggest net possible. Now here's the crappy thing, this tank has duckweed in it, so hopefully I can do this without getting duckweed in this tank. There she goes. One down, a few more to get. Oh yeah, two at once. Oh no, this is a huge mono shrimp. So two huge mono shrimp, and it looks like a male in that scoop. I don't know if you can see that. Look at the size of that shrimp. Two more to go. Well, I didn't get a pistol, but I got two more pretty good size of mono shrimp. There's only one. Another big fat female here. Hopefully they'll help with the hair algae in there. Ooh, I see it. I'm not getting away this time. Alright, got the last male. Now there's a good looking one right there. Ooh, we got a nice pair hanging out right up front. These should just love it in here. Of course I got all the algae on there. Tomorrow's water change day for this tank so that'll all get scrubbed off. And that looks really bad. So in case you're wondering, the female is on the right, the male is on the left. You can usually tell female apistos because they are yellow. And they'll get really super yellow when they're ready to breed. That's actually a really good looking female for an apisto. If I could keep the camera still. Pristilla Tetra, wondering what's up with these guys. A little less algae on the glass there, can see them a little better. Alright, I just couldn't take it any longer. I'm going to have to do a water change and clean this algae right now. That's really starting to bug me. Don't get sucked up in there, little dude. So I'm not sure if this is something I should be worrying about. It's not so bad down here. But you can start to see all the air bubbles in the silicone here. So it's on the other side here too. A whole string of air bubbles all the way down. 
Not sure if that's something I should be worried about or not, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, so obviously we're filling our back up here. For anyone who's watched my channel for any amount of time knows that this is basically how I do it. I set out to do something, I see something that looks bad, and it just bothers me. It still looks bad, but at least there's not as much algae on the glass here. Still definitely need some spots on there that has got some problem areas. Hopefully the epistos will come back out so we can get some shots without the algae now. Looks like in the tank below, you know I have my Parasipochromus blue neon. I just pulled out a dead female, so that's not good. Didn't see anything visually wrong with her. So the star grass is starting to get out of control again. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's this plant here, this big bushy plant, that's the star grass. I think on my next water change, I'm gonna be doing some, some big trimmings on that. I gotta do that about once a month. I'll probably post that up for sale on my Facebook group, which is just Steamflot Aquatic. So if anyone's gonna be interested in some star grass probably in the next couple weeks, you probably want to join my group because that's where I'm going to list it as. It's a pretty small group. It has a lot of my regulars in there, so it's nice to keep it nice and low key. So this is one of the tanks that I run a canister filter on. This is just the Odyssey Eheim knockoff. I think it's around $50 on eBay. That's the only filter I have in here besides the plants, which are obviously a major part in the filtration here. I don't see any of the epistos anywhere. The Amano shrimp are out though. So I do inject CO2 in this tank. I know I've talked about that before, but we have some new people, so. None of these plants really require CO2. There is some Monte Carlo down here. That's what this mess is here, but I kind of I kind of murdered all that with hydrogen peroxide. So don't use hydrogen peroxide on Monte Carlo. And it's basically been stunted and hasn't grown since. And the uh, chain sword there is spreading. There's dwarf hair grass in here. This is Crypt Willisii. So now I just have this 33 gallon long chilling on the floor. And look who gets the whole thing. That third betta fish everyone's been asking about. This is a terrible shot. Let me kneel down here. So now this awesome looking fish gets an entire 33 gallon tank all to himself. Granted, it's only built to about 60%, but still a four foot aquarium for one betta fish. Doesn't get much better than that. Of course, there's also probably 50 Amano shrimp in here. I don't know, apparently he's using this algae as a pillow. <laughs> so of course, now that I got clean glass, I'm not seeing any of the Epistogramma panduros. Amano shrimp are cleaning up though. Oh, there's the female. Oh yeah, this is much better. We don't see this guy too often. Where is he at? Oh, there he is, right in front of me. This is the rubber lip pleco. An awesome algae eater that's fairly inexpensive. And this is a full grown example right here. Probably three and a half, four inches. That's it. Really nice pleco. I really need to find some of these male epistos though. I'm on a mission. Oh, this one over here is that the female again. All right, here we go. Male finally came back out, hopefully for more than just a second. What are you doing in there? Don't get stuck in there. I'm not gonna come bail you out. Eh, 
and off to the back they go. Ooh, a little nip there. Ooh, another little nip. Feisty little guy, huh? Right back over where apparently there's still algae on the glass. Awesome. All right, YouTube, so unfortunately I've ran out of time. I spent too much time doing the water change in here. I know I said I was gonna get all my new fish in this update video, but that didn't happen. But you still saw the Epistos, you saw the missing betta, so hopefully that's good enough for now. But I figure, since we spent a lot of time in this Planet Tank, today's channel of the day is gonna be a Planet Tank channel, and that is ADU Aquascaping. Uh, if you're not familiar with this channel, he just hit 30,000 subscribers, I believe, today. So super awesome, congratulations there. But what you're gonna find over there is everything to do about planet tanks, from low tech to high tech and everything in between. Doesn't matter if you're a noob or an expert, there's going to be good information there. So if you're looking to get into plants or if you're looking to learn a little bit more, definitely head over there, EDU Aquascaping, it'll be popping up. And I'll see everyone tonight for the giveaway on my live stream, 5 p.m. Pacific. See you then.